Okay, this is gonna be a quick video showing how everything went in. And you can see there the water main. Yeah, no thermostat, that's out. And where the hoses go through. See, it goes right underneath the torque damper. That's the pulley. And that's the little spacer in there. It had to be made just to pull it out just a bit so the belt can just fit in right there. Yeah, and what else? So there you can see the plate. That's where the supercharger bolt up. So I I keep my um, my heat, my water heat. I don't want to eliminate that if you can see right there, it's still there. So if it's right through the piping of the water heat and it just goes right through and it holds up on the header on all the bolts of the header, all six. And so the supercharger. Everything I wanted was to keep underneath, you know, just for looks. So I kept the holes underneath the supercharger. And what else? Anything that has to do with that. And my piping. Really, really standard stuff. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty simple. I wish I can put it underneath there so you could see. There you go. Can see everything down there. Let's see if I can go lower. Yeah. You can see where everything bolted up. Nice. It's all around the headers. It's not aluminum. It's a. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, it's not a half an inch, but it's. Can't say right now, and I, I just don't remember. But it's really strong stainless steel. Didn't want to use aluminum there. And what else can I see? Oh yeah, and everybody who asked me what I did to the radiator, it it comes here. But my shop guy just tapped that there and just made a, a hole right here, so it just straight up. And what else? Can't remember anything. So I'm gonna try to keep it short. Oh, and this is from a uh, 99, 95, 99 Maxima. It fits like it's stock, so it's cheap on eBay. Uh, it, it gets the job done. Keeps the temp cool. Oh, my catch can for my transmission. Oof really need that but shit was sp spilling oil everywhere yeah because after I hit a certain RPM up and high and keep it driving you know I'm always on the highway and beating it so it was throwing oil so I had to put the catch can so it works nice anything else can't quite remember but it's been almost two weeks with it it works perfectly and still checking out if see no no vibration no weird stuff uh yeah oh yeah we had to bring this down so i can work perfectly here with the plug you know it doesn't damage anything so there was a hole made here made here so you can put the o2 sensors and uh, that's about it yeah.